So I've made my choice. You can have him. Just take it, please, take him away. At last. Don't think that saved your life. I'm a of mine. Now we shall have the lives of a Time Lord. It's empty. Well, where's it gone? You tell me. Oh, I think the explanation might be you've been fooled by a simple olfactory misdirection. A little bit like ventriloquism of the nose. It's an elementary trick in certain parts of the galaxy. But it has got to be said. I don't like the look of that hydroeconometer. It seems to be indicating you've got energy feedback all the way through the retro stabilizers feeding back into the primary heat converters. Or, oh, because if there's one thing you shouldn't have done, you shouldn't have let me press all those buttons. But, in fairness, I will give you one word of advice. Run. Get out! Get out! He never raised his voice. That was the worst thing. The fury of the Time Lord. And then we discovered why. Why this doctor, who had fought with gods and demons, why he'd run away from us and hidden. He was being kind. He wrapped my father in unbreakable chains, forged in the heart of a dwarf star. I tricked my mother into the event horizon of a collapsing galaxy to be imprisoned there forever. He still visits my sister once a year, every year. I wonder if one day he might forgive her, but there she is, can you see? He trapped her inside a mirror, every mirror. If ever you look at your reflection and see something move behind you just for a second, that's her. That's always her. As for me, I was suspended in time, and the doctor put me to work standing over the fields of England as their protector. We wanted to live forever, so the doctor...